guys welcome back to my channel Emma's lifestyle and welcome to a brand new video so today's video is vlog one of our travels to America so we are just on our way to Heathrow Airport so the first leg of our trip is um, Heathrow to San Francisco so that will be uh, the first video today's video and then we're going from San Francisco to Los Angeles and Los Angeles to Las Vegas but like I say today's video will be us traveling and going to San Francisco so if that is something you would like to see then please keep watching So we flew with Virgin and the flight to San Francisco was about 11 hours long. We had um, all our meals and drinks included. We had a hot meal, which is what I'm showing you now. It was a chicken dish, a bread roll and a chocolate pudding. We also had an ice lolly and we also had a toasted sandwich. And then we also had an afternoon tea as well um, so yeah you got plenty of food on drinks food and drinks on virgin that's the chicken dish there was also a choice of pasta and then this was the afternoon tea you got a sandwich and you got a scone with jam and cream um, the food flying out I thought was better than the food coming back home from Las Vegas to Heathrow that flight was about nine hours long i think you always tend to get one hot meal and one cold meal um, on the flights well, now at our hotel we stopped at the hilton san francisco union square so i'm just going to show you obviously this is just the outside of the hotel and then i'm going to show you our room and bathroom um, it was a very nice hotel so we have just checked in to our hotel in San Francisco. So this is the Hilton San Francisco in Union Square. So this is a standard room. It's got two double beds in it, as you can see. Um, it, we're arriving now at, it's like half 10 gone um, in the evening. So obviously it's pitch black outside. So it's a little bit uh, dark in here, but we've literally just got in the room. We haven't unpacked or anything yet. So we've got a big um, TV and we've got a coffee machine and yeah, ice bucket, just all the usual. I won't be able to show you the view because it's too dark out there, but we're on the 15th floor. It's a massive hotel. We're in Tower 3, um, but I'll show you... Uh, how uh, high we are perhaps um, when I can uh, when we can see and here is the bathroom so let's have a look what it looks like in here um, yeah it looks all right yeah it's not bad looks clean enough towels tissues we've got a few toiletries up here as well Soap and shampoo, conditioner, body wash, etc. Plenty of towels for the four of us. A nice big mirror. This is what we like. <laughs> A big light up mirror. So, yeah. Right. So, that's it for the room tour. And I will see you all in the morning. So, we have come out to the 16th floor of Tower 3. And this is where the pool area is. So, we've just come and had a look loads of tables and chairs, loads of lounges. It's very early in the morning. It's like near eight o'clock. So that's the massive tower. There's a rooftop bar on the 46th floor that is um, 
family friendly so under 21s can go in so and you can see all of san francisco from there so we're going to go to see that but yeah this is a pool and the jacuzzi area so like i say it's only eight o'clock in the morning so it's very very uh, quiet <laughs> Kaya stopped in the room because she's only just woken up. We're not actually obviously going in the pool at the minute. We just wanted to come and have a nosy and I wanted to vlog for you. So yeah, like I say, Hilton, San Francisco, Union Square. Pleased with it up to now. Morning guys. So it is our first day in San Francisco. So we have just left the hotel and today we are walking, we are going to do some exploring, we are going to Chinatown, we are going to see the Coit Tower and we are going to Alcatraz. Um, we have booked a trip for Alcatraz, so we pre-booked that before we left England. So that is what we are doing today. There's a Macy's down here, there's also a Saks i've been in new york <laughs> um so yeah we are going to the first stop as we are heading in the direction that we want to go is to get some breakfast um so we're just going to see where we want to go so i just tried to cross the road want to get one over um so yeah we're going to go and see what we can get for breakfast en route so yeah that's the plan for today so i'll video a little bit more um as we get further down So we have spied somewhere we fancy for breakfast, Roxanne's Cafe. Um, so we're going to go in here and um, have our first breakfast in San Francisco. So this is inside Roxanne's. It's like a proper American diner. The menu was absolutely massive. There was loads to choose from. Um, they all seemed to be about the same price as all the breakfast when we went to America was all around 15 to 20 dollars in the diners we had an american breakfast which also came with pancakes kaya had some french toast richard had an omelet which came with potatoes and i had a breakfast bacon potatoes so and we have just there. walked up this massive hill and we're a little bit puffed out <laughs> but we like to walk about you get to see loads of things while you're walking about. Breakfast was lovely at Roseanne's Cafe. Uh, really enjoyed that.
So here we are at Coit Tower. There are some absolutely fantastic views from up here. We are very high up. And um, as you can see, you can see San Francisco Bay. So you can see the water there. Absolutely great views from up here. Really nice area. Anybody going to San Francisco, I would recommend going to Coit Tower. We have walked here from our hotel. Um, I always think, we, we always think that it's really good to walk if you can because you get to see the real place and you get to see a lot of things when you walk in and you get to see them obviously in a lot more detail than you can in a taxi obviously that's not possible all the time but yeah we have actually seen a lot of San Francisco just by walking to Coit Tower so yeah really nice this area so we are now walking up to Pier 33 Waterfront Plaza so this is where we can the ferry to Alcatraz, that's Pier 35, Pier 33, Alcatraz landing it says over there. So yeah, this is where we're going to catch the ferry to Alcatraz. To show you this because I've just liked this, break the rules and you go to prison, break the prison rules and you go to Alcatraz. So here we are getting ready to go on the ferry. There's um, the ferry going backwards and forwards all day to Alcatraz. You can uh, just book it when you get there, but we wanted to book it before we uh, left England to make sure we could definitely get a place. So we booked all this um, online before we left home. And there is Alcatraz on the island out there. Um, it was really good going on the ferry. It was very windy, very cold. So just be prepared for that if you are going on the ferry. And here we are um, in Alcatraz, absolutely iconic building. Um, I always wanted to go here, so this was a once in a lifetime uh, tick off the bucket list. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you around now um, so you can get to see what it's like. These are actually the original showers that they used in Alcatraz that they have saved. Um, they are all open as you can see. They had to make them open because they had so many assaults happening in the showers that they had to make them all open. Now I just wanted to show you inside some of the cells. They look pretty grim as you can see but I suppose you know it was um, a tough prison so I suppose that's to be expected. But yeah, these are rows and rows of cells. Um, you get to see a lot of stuff on the Alcatraz tour and you get to learn a lot of information. Um, very, very interesting. I would definitely recommend it if you are going to San Francisco. So this is the exercise yard now that I am showing you. So this is obviously where the prisoners had their outside break time.
So we have um, arrived back after our Alcatraz tour and we are now going to see Pier 39. Um, Pier 39 is very famous in San Francisco. Um, definitely, definitely worth a visit. You can spend quite a bit of time there. It's got lots of restaurants, shopping, it's got some attractions, it's got an aquarium, it's got absolutely beautiful views of the bay and it has also, also got some sea lions that hang out there and we get to see them as you will see um, in a little while so yeah highly recommend going to Pier 39 we went here a couple of times whilst we was in San Francisco so I just thought I would film a little bit of it for you so you can see what sorts of things are on the pier So lots of restaurants, we ate um, on the pier a couple of times, lots of souvenir shops and um, some really nice, um, a really nice ice cream shop that we uh, got some ice cream from and chocolate shop. Um, there are some rides as well, um, a carousel and like um, a little ride that I think I'll show you actually later on in the video so you'll get to see that. This um, was one of my favourite shops on the pier because as you can see um, it sold lots and lots of chocolate and as I'm a chocoholic um, I absolutely love this. So yeah we obviously had to go in here and buy a couple of bits. It's got all the famous Ghirardelli chocolate uh, that originates from San Francisco but I'll talk more about that later when we go to Ghirardelli Square. But yeah, I just wanted to show you inside one of my favourite shops. So yeah, loads of nice things in here. Oh wow, mini donuts and mix and match. Nuts, oh look at that. Fucking road, marshmallows. Oh, peanut clusters, honeycomb. Oh, mix and match chocolate. Mm -hmm. Top square, they look nice. What was all of the cake? Uh, the apples. Caramel apples. Lemon M's and everything. Truffles. Okay. Wow. Oh, not fudge. Fresh fudge, marshmallow sticks, s'mores, covered twinkies. <laughs> Definitely my kind of shop. Chocolate dipped bacon, chocolate dipped jalapenos. Mm. My kind of shop, apart from that bit. <laughs> So here are the rides that I was talking about. This is the one that I didn't know how to explain it. The one that goes up and down. And then the carousel as well. So yeah, quite a lot of the different attractions on the pier. Uh, definitely recommend a visit. It did get quite busy as you can see. Uh, very popular attraction. San Francisco can get very windy as you can hear there so I've um, overdubbed some of the videos so you can hear me a little bit better but we are now where the sea lines are I said there are lots of sea lines around the pier and here they all are I could sit and watch these for hours um, they have got a seating area so you can sit and watch them um, some of them really liked I think uh, being the center of attention some of them seemed to be really showing off there was playing there was jumping in and out of the water uh, this has definitely got to be one of my favourite bits of the pier and something free to do as well, which you don't get very often. So, day two in San Francisco. Hello. And we are going now to catch the cable car. 
to Lombard Street, also known as Zigzag Hill. Then what else is the plan for today, back Harvey? Back, back on the tram to, or cable car as they call it, um, to Fisherman's Wharf. Then later on, Golden Gate Bridge. And then we're gonna see how we feel after that. So first stop is the tram and um, yeah, I'll film, I'll film that when we get there. So here we are now waiting to go on, um, well it's like a tram but they call it um, the cable car. I'm sure you've seen these, if you haven't seen them in person, I'm sure you've seen them on TV programs or films. San Francisco is famous for their cable cars. There was quite a long queue as you can see but it soon went down um, and yet when they get to the end they just turn around the cable car as you can see now. We were lucky to get a good spot on the cable car we was hanging off well not hanging off but hanging on to the side um, where the rails are on the side so I managed to get you some good footage of going up and down the hills I don't think they uh, know about health and safety um, in San Francisco I'm sure you wouldn't be allowed to do it in this country people sort of hanging off the side because they do get quite a bit of speed up and cars do come quite pa uh, quite close past you and other cable cars come really close past you as well you could easily get your bag knocked or your shoulder knocked so yeah you do do have to be a little bit careful but what an experience absolutely once in a lifetime experience uh, this again was one of my favorite bits to go on the cable cars So we got off the cable car at Fisherman's Wharf, another tourist um, area in San Francisco, quite well known, lots of shops again and restaurants, lots of souvenir shops, so we wanted to come and have a look around this area. I'd done lots of research on YouTube and Facebook before we went to find out the best places to visit. I always do that if we are going anywhere. I always like to check out YouTube videos they can tell you so much um, so yeah this is the famous Boudin Bakery or Boudin Bakery um, they sold a lot of the uh, bread bowls um, with the um, clam chowder in uh, yeah very famous uh, in San Francisco for those so yeah Boudin is a very famous bakery makes lots of beautiful bread obviously um, so yeah we wanted to go in and have a look around there famous for their sourdough which I love sourdough bread you got that quite a lot in San Francisco and I love sourdough bread anyway so that was right up my street so yeah I just wanted to show you a little bit around Boudin it's got its own cafe and obviously the bakery. You can see them all baking the bread. Um, they even make bread in the shape of all different types of things. Um, they've got teddy bears and um, 
fish and crabs and all sorts of um, yeah different things there's some of them that you can see up there Now, obviously, we had to go in the San Francisco chocolate store because, as you know, and as I've previously mentioned in this video, I absolutely love chocolate. So we had to go and check it out again at Fisherman's Wharf, all the chocolate here. So much choice. It, it, I was like literally a kid in a candy store. Um, even the decoration, the chandeliers, I just loved everything about this shop. It was so nice. Um, so much choice. Absolute chocoholics dream. Here's the famous chocolate covered bacon. I have to say I did not partake in that, but we did buy uh, these triple chocolate cookies and I'm not just saying it but they are the best they were the best cookies I have ever had and some gorgeous hot chocolate as well so nice I wish I could get those cookies every day So here we are at Umbrella Alley, right near Gridelli Square, which we're going to go down to in a minute. But I just thought I would show you guys this first. So local artists have paint, painted all the murals, it says. We've got all the balloons up there. Photo opportunity there. <laughs> it's very pretty. I left my heart in San Francisco. Got some pretty butterflies. And then lots of murals on the wall down here as well. I like the flamingo ones. I'm always drawn to flamingos. I don't know whether it's because of the colour, because you know I love pink. California dreaming. 